hope you are all fine today students in the previous class we have learned a new lesson about wildlife and this particular lesson is all about a zoo am i right okay this was written by gerald darrell gerald darrell is a naturalist and wildlife conservationist okay so here a boy is writing a letter 18 years old boy is writing a letter to mr gerald darrell and he is explaining how the zoo was there and uh, mr x we can take it might be gerald darrell and mr x is owning a zoo the title itself shows that menagerie man what's the meaning of menagerie it's a zoo where animals are kept inside a cage for exhibition okay so here the boy is writing a letter that i need a job in your zoo there are two forms of people who are there in a zoo one people will visit as a visitor and the other who is governing who is the owner of the zoo and the owner of the zoo has to work hard for 24 hours and they will never get rest they will never get a comfortable dinner comfortable sleep why in the morning all these creatures will produce sound and that will make the person to get up in the morning so in the last class we have seen what are the birds which are producing such an orchestra to wake up the owner to wake up mr x and one of the special bird there is the trumpet right it is commonly called as trumpy and now the trumpy is entering through the window and it is settled on the bed and it creates some it produces some sound the trumpy is very naughty okay the trumpy is a very naughty bird and every day it enters through the window into the chamber into the bedroom of mr x and it will stand in front of the mirror and it will decorate itself the trumpy okay and it will create a lot many damage there inside the room and then it settled on the bed now there's no chance for mr x somehow he has to wake up so every day this is the duty of the trumpy okay this trumpy is a bird which looks like a badly made bird okay and now in this class let's see what the animals in the zoo are doing in the previous class we have seen what the birds were doing there what they did they were producing sound they arranged an orchestra to wake up mr x now let's see what happened next okay now mr x get ready and in the morning all the workers came there and they are saying good morning good morning and in that noise the noise or the sound of the birds get reduced okay now all the workers came there then the writer have mentioned three names first is stephen next mike and jeremy stephen mike and jeremy these three people are the workers there are more workers there in the zoo but now let's learn only three of them stephen mike and jeremy okay these are the workers who are working there they will clean the cage of the apes of the gorillas because in the night time they will dirt everything they will damage everything inside the cage and in the morning the duty of these people is to clean their cage clean the cage of the gorillas or the lion the tiger whatever they are in the zoo okay this is the duty allotted for these people and in this class let's learn about few animals first one is peahens now peahens have you all seen peahens we all know peacock peacock is a male bird and peahens are the female birds and these peahens
plants are grazing in the grassland. Okay, in the morning time, and the peacocks, peacocks are decorating with their. They have a beautiful plumage, beautiful feathers. It's like it is glittering in the sunlight. So the peahens and the peacocks are there nearby a grassland in the zoo. Okay. Next is the monkeys. What monkeys will do? Monkeys are always naughty, right? So these monkeys are damaging the entire zoo. Next, the gorilla. Celebus ape, and here the celebus ape is named as Ata. Okay, the trumpet is the name of a trumpet bird. In the same way, celebus ape is an animal. It is called as Ata here. All right. Next is mongoose lemur. Mongoose lemur is also a kind of ape. Next, binturong. Binturong is called as binti. Trumpet is called the trumpy, binturong is called the binti. Next, marmoset. Marmoset is also a small creature. It looks like monkey. Okay, it's very small in size. Next is emperor tamarin. Emperor tamarin is called the whisker here. Okay, emperor tamarin is called the whisker. And these are the animals we are going to learn today. What they did in the zoo. All right, students, are you all ready for today's class? Okay, take your textbook. Students, take page number ninety-two. Trumpy, for some reason best known to himself, is firmly convinced that. His first duty of each day should be to fly into one's bedroom and acquaint one with what has been going on in the zoo during the night. His motives are not entirely altruistic, for he hopes to have his head scratched. If you are too deeply asleep or too lazy to leap out of bed at his greeting cry, he hopes from the window sill. Onto the dressing table, decorates its extravagantly, wags his tail vigorously in approval of his action, and then hops onto the bed and proceeds to walk up and down, drumming like a distraught cello, until he is assured that he has your full attention. Until we get the full attention of Trumpy, it will disturb us. Every day it will enter through the window. And mainly, this Trumpy did not like people who are feeling so lazy and so sleepy, who are not willing to wake up from their bed. So this Trumpy enters through the window and will stand in front of the dressing table, decorate itself, then hops onto the bed. And it will disturb the people, disturb the person who is sleeping on the bed. Okay, and because of the torture, the person will obviously will wake up. And at first, it will make a cry, like an alarm clock. At first, it will create a sound, just like a cello. Cello is an instrument. Okay, and then it will disturb the people. Next, until we get its full attention. Before he can produce any more interesting designs on the furniture or carpet, you are forced to crawl out of bed. Before it it spoil the bedroom, what we have to do? We have to crawl out of the bed and we have to catch the bird, push him out onto the window ledge and close the window so that he cannot force his way in again. Trumpy now having awakened you, and you wonder sleepily whether it is worth going back to bed or whether you should get up. Then, from beneath the window comes a series of five or six shrill cries for help. Looking out into the courtyard on the velvet green lawns by the lavender hedge. You can see an earnest group of peahens searching the dewy grass. 
in the morning the grass are filled with dew so in the morning we can see peahens which are searching the dewy grass while around them their husband protes husband peacocks his burnished tail raised like a fantastic quivering fountain in the sunlight presently he will lower his tail throw back his head and defend the morning with his nerve shattering cries now the peacocks and peahens are welcoming the morning at 8 o'clock the staff arrive the staff the, the staff will arrive at 8 o'clock and you hear them shout greetings to each other they will say the greeting morning greetings good morning good morning so they will greet each other amid the clang of buckets and swish of brushes which all but drown the bird song so all these will drown the bird song you slip on your clothes and go out into the cool fresh morning to see if all is right with the zoo next paragraph in the long two story granite house once a large cedar press and now converted for monkeys and other mammals everything is bustle and activity so there was a two story granite house with a cedar press what is mean by cedar press cedar press means um to collect or to get the apple crush or the juice extract from the fruits we have to crush it so that machine is called cedar press okay in the cedar press people will put the apples or mangoes whatever it is and from that we can get the extract or the juice of the fruit that machine is called cedar press now this two storied granite house is converted into a habitat of the animals monkeys and other mammals the gorillas have just been let out of their cage while it is being cleaned and they gallop about the floor with the exuberance of children just out of school endeavoring to pull down the notices rinse the electric heaters from their sockets or break the fluorescent lights so now the servants who are working in the zoo they'll clean all the animals like gorillas and monkeys and now at once they enter out of their cage they start to damage the entire zoo okay they'll wrench the electric heaters they'll do something with the electric heaters or they'll break the fluorescent lights they'll do some naughty things stephen broom in hand stands god over the apes watching with a stern eye to prevent them from doing more damage than is absolutely necessary now stephen is standing in front of the apes and is guarding is protecting and he is guarding that the animals should not do more damage inside the gorilla's cage mike rotend and perpetually smiling and jeremy with his duke of wellington nose and his badly sugar colored hair are busy sweeping up the mess that the gorilla's tenancy of the previous day entailed and scattering fresh white sawdust in snow drifts over the floor mike and jeremy these two people are sweeping the gorilla's cage everything they assure you is all right nothing has developed any malignant symptoms during the night all the animals excited eager at the start of a new day bustle about their cages and shout good morning to you so all the cages of these animals were cleaned now these animals are ready to start their day start a new day okay and they are saying good morning to these people atom the black celibus ape looking like a synanthic imp clings to the wire 
baring his teeth at you in greeting and making shrill chuckling noise the celibus ape is showing its teeth and is greeting us and is saying good morning okay it is creating a chuckling noise also as it it is greeting us it is saying good morning to us the woolly coated orange eyed mongoose lemurs bound from branch to branch wagging their long thick tails like dogs and calling to each other in a series of loud and astonishingly pig like grunt now this mongoose lemurs with long tails they are jumping they are hopping from one branch to another branch and they are calling each other they are producing a sound it's like the sound produced by pigs further down sitting on his hind legs his prehensile tail wrapped round a branch and surveying his quarters with the air of someone who has just received the freedom of the city is Binti, the bint wrong, who suggests a badly made head thrung to one end of which has been attached a curiously oriental-like head with long ear tufts and circular protuberant and somewhat vacant eyes. The next door cage appears to be empty, but if you run your finger along the wire, a trope of diminutive marmoset come tumbling out of their box of straw twittering and trilling like canaries now in the next cage we can see nothing so we'll think okay nothing is there inside this cage but then comes small tiny marmosets so these marmosets are very small creatures okay they are in the next cage the largest of these is whiskers the emperor tamarin the emperor tamarin is the largest of these mammoths whose sweeping snow white colonel blim mustache quivers majestically as he gives you greeting by opening wide his mouth and vibrating his tongue rapidly up and down this emperor tamarin has a white mustache and it looks like colonel blim okay and it's very long and thick so with this mustache it is saying good morning to all of us that's all the lesson menagerie manner so here the author is telling about how these creatures are there in the zoo what they will do birds are making sounds these animals are damaging everything inside their cage outside their cage in in the zoo and also in the morning they are welcoming us with their warm greetings so this particular lesson has been prescribed for you not just to read but these creatures are highly endangered okay so you must have a good concern towards these wild wildlife and you have to learn more about wildlife cons- wildlife conservation and it's our responsibility to take care of the wild animals they are highly endangered all right so this particular lesson gives you more details about endangered species have you all heard about this celibus ape or mango slammer binturong marmoset then toracos serima these are this lesson completely gives us huge information about wildlife species right okay read the text once again there are lot many vivid vocabularies used by the author gerald darrell okay so each and every word has a unique meaning so from the first paragraph itself read line by line underline the difficult words there are lot many difficult words there in this particular lesson refer your dictionary and get more knowledge
all right students it's your duty to read the text and find out the meaning of the new vocabularies that's all for today's class students see you all in the next class until take care thank you Thank you.